hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going um to the soko market yeah so here in kenya we call it soko so i'm going to the soko to buy to stock up things for the week um so i'm just gonna show you a few of the things that i usually buy for the week so i'll try and shoot um a few clips here and there in the market if i feel secure you know if i scan <laughs> the area and i see that okay it's fine i can check my phone and shoot so i'll definitely do that for you guys and also i want to go and buy raw fish so oh that's exciting so i'm gonna show you um the whole process so i'm just crossing my fingers that well hey i'll be able to do all that for you guys so that you can see if not i'll definitely come back to the house and just give you guys a haul and just show you the process of you know packing and all that so let's quickly go so um oh yeah before i go um how do i usually prepare myself so i usually pack um sacks and just paper bags before i go to the market so that i don't have to buy um packing bags in the market um that usually helps me to save on costs i mean by the time you're going to the market you want to cut your costs on everything so um that's the first tip that i'll give you guys i usually pack my bags and number two i usually have a shopping list so that i stick to it and i know that this is what i want to um buy and i also work with a budget it doesn't matter you know if the prices have gone up and all that stuff i stick to my budget because i know that was my limit for you know this shopping so that i don't have i don't end up shopping a lot you know markets have a lot of things and you can end up just overspending as much as you think that you're going to the market to save you can actually end up overspending because you'll just buy everything that is there so work with the budget work with your shopping list and always carry um shopping bags so that you don't uh, end up uh spending extra money on it and then the fourth and the last tip is always carry lose cash um like 50 bob or 100 shillings to um get someone to help you carry the goods from the market to your car or wherever even if you're using a boda boda or even to the stage if you're using a matatu so that's what i always do especially if i'm buying a lot of things and i know that i'm not able to carry it um shopping in the market doesn't have to be stressful guys it really doesn't especially if um you know your way around the market you know your stops you know where you're gonna stop who what you're gonna buy um so it makes it very very easy you just um move around very fast and ask um because in my market the market that i usually go to you don't see those people just walking around so you usually have to request then someone is called then they come and they assist you so that's pretty much it shopping bag um what was the second one a uh, shopping list I think i'll list them down here for you guys so that you can see so yeah that's uh pretty much it uh so let me quickly dash to the market because the day has already started and i had intended to be back by now it's actually let me see what time it is it's 7 40 um am so let me quickly dash to the market then I'll be back to show you guys what I got. Got myself up in the back seat, driving to you on the back street. All the other ones are asking. But I don't give a fuck, they nasty I'm just trying to find you Cause I don't got no ties We're running out of time So I'll be home tonight
so I'm going to show you a few of the things that I got. Um, today I just bought a few things. I remember I told you I was just sticking to just the things that I needed for the week. But did I really stick to that list? I ended up just buying a few extra things um, here and there. So I realized I had a fifth tip that I needed to share with you guys. Before you go to the market, number one withdraw your cash have cash have cash at hand um i think it just makes it easier when you're shopping around you just quickly move you know it makes even your shopping experience faster uh such that you just pay immediately move pay immediately move yeah so if you have cash it's so much better because sometimes you find that some people prefer having cash although what i've noticed is that um nowadays more and more of the people there are having um the people at the market are having uh buy goods so they're having a till number so you're able to pay with your impressor so you can you know use both options but for me i prefer i definitely prefer withdrawing and just walking around with cash as opposed to using my phone because you have to remove your phone and that just exposes you to you know um things that you do not want to be exposed to so yeah let me just show you um the things that i got so for fruits this is what i got i got this watermelon this was i think around 120 shillings can you imagine this is around four kilos then i got those oranges that i want to make my orange juice with then i got this um i think this is this lime this is lime yes then i got that three for 20 so that was good that was good then i also got these tomatoes i just laid them here so that i can show you the video otherwise um after this i'm going to wash them and then arrange them in the you know and the places where they need to be so these are the tomatoes that i bought for the week um pretty big um for this i didn't feel like um i got up again considering the fact that i went to the market um three or for 20 bob yeah i think three or four were for 20 shillings then i got those are the onions that i got i think i showed you a clip so i got these onions and these are the onions yeah so for this um a kilo was 80 bob the white onions and this 55 shillings so that was good so i bought two kilos and one kilo of that so that's what i got then i also got these bananas which i am pretty sure will be done within a day then mint leaves i think this was 20 shillings then dania i got all this i think for how much um is that 40 shillings was it 40 bob yeah no actually 30 bob yes so this was uh, 30 shillings then i got this each at 30 bob this is cucumber then i got the ginger the garlic and maize i like it in maize as a snack so i bought some maize for githeri and some for snacking so the softer one is for snacking then i also got this avocado and one cabbage then i also got potatoes so this was 700 shillings can you imagine there's a time actually two weeks Mommy. ago Mommy. two weeks ago yes I want to make them. so guys can you imagine that there's a time two weeks ago these potatoes were going for um this is the cayello they were going for a thousand Nani. bob like that's just ridiculous Nani. so can you imagine there's a time potatoes were going for a thousand okay pick it up okay take it there the time potatoes are okay going for a thousand shillings two weeks ago so i'm so happy i can see that prices for a few things have started has started reducing so i'm really really happy um that's a good sign you know because, because inflation is just killing us guys so yeah that's about it oh did i show you the fish oh my goodness let me show you so this is what i got about 10 
uh, one was um, this is size four okay so this is the size four and uh, they sell a kilo at 360 so um after doing my math one was around 165 so that's pretty that's pretty fair so these are 10 i am going to prepare them oh i'll try and show you guys if i don't show you guys i'll show you guys on another video how to um deep fry the fish then i also bought this eggs a tray was 350 shillings so yeah so for the eggs as well the price has gone down because before a tray was going for around 400 shillings at the market you know that's the wholesale price so um yeah that was the price so i'm happy that now the price of things has started reducing so yeah that's about it so that's it for today's video uh i will wrap it up here i'm going to shoot another video and show you guys how to deep fry the fish the fish um yeah because i think right now i'm running out of time um i'll definitely shoot it for you guys uh, it's a learning process for me so we'll be doing it together we'll be learning together so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that there's another option you know of uh, buying things you really don't have to buy from your kiosk or if you feel like also the supermarket is too much for you like the cheaper options for you yes uh -huh. ice cream so yeah um that's about it um my shopping experience at the market is uh, not usually a hassle i usually enjoy it um so yeah it's not such a big market so that's why it's not such a hassle because i think um, if you go to the big markets like marikiti it's it's quite a hassle it's quite a hassle but things at marikiti are definitely way cheaper and the variety is you know uh, wider you have a, a a lot of options you know so yeah but here i'm able to get the basic things so that's what i got for this week so yeah i'm pretty happy if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up this, yes. this is not ice cream. Okay. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, and remember to subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.